This is the Dollamore Daily, and I'm Jesse Dollar. How, how long have I talked about the steady march of white Christian nationalism in this country? The unholy melding of the Bible, whichever flavor, pick a flavor, and government, and the United States government, in direct contravention to the First Amendment of the United States of America, um, of separation of church and state. Conservatives would like to rewrite this model as though it doesn't exist, that the, that's not really what the Constitution says, but it does. That Congress shall make no law uh, regarding the establishment of religion, to establish the Church of America, or to pick one faith over another to be the official religion of the United States. And a lot of these white Christian, not, not a lot, all of these white Christian nationalists are making it their goal, their stated objective to have that be the case. And much to the chagrin of you and everyone else out there who has faith or doesn't have faith, um, they're picking their particular flavor of Christianity, not some generic milk toast version. They are picking the anti-immigration, hateful, racist version that they have concocted through who knows what kind of machinations and their, their interpretation and reading of their Bible. And uh, Lauren Boebert is one of these people. I guess I'll cut right to the chase. Lauren Boebert, well, one, I'm going to play a clip from August of last year where she talks about biblical citizenship, very brief. And it's not her words that I want you to watch because it's, it's, we're going to cover another clip, uh, another brief clip that really we'll, we'll talk about it more. I want you to watch her face. Watch how she goes from, from smiling and even laughing. Well, maybe we need that. That's what we need in this country. And then cuts straight to a, to a, to a dour, serious attitude in like, a split second, a tenth of a second, a fiftieth of a second, she switches gears, which indicates to me, and I believe should indicate to you, <clears throat> that she is uh, performing. This is a performance for Lauren Boebert. She doesn't believe really anything that she's saying. It's all about gaining power and popularity and internet clout. So here's the clip from August. Remember, watch watch her face. Watch how quickly she goes from laughing and smiling to serious. Uh, maybe we need to have some sort of legislation that requires Constitution Alive and biblical citizenship training in our schools. Uh, and, and that's how we get things turned around. Uh, but there, there has to be real leadership from the Republicans, especially now. That's a performance. That's what that is. Now, I want to show you this clip. Uh, from very recently, where she's on a stage wanting to thank Rick Green about biblical citizenship, whatever this means. And she's going on praising this man, who, by the way, is a failed politician who believes that he, or he, on Twitter, you know, he believes it, but he calls himself America's Constitution Coach. He's one of these guys who has a particular worldview and wants to pervert not only his faith, the Bible, Christianity. He also wants to pervert the text of the Constitution and the underlying meanings and what the motivations were behind the words that were written, uh, enshrined for posterity's sake. Watch Lauren Boebert here. I'm so grateful for Rick Green and everything that he has done through the Patriot Academy, through Constitution Alive, through the biblical citizenship classes because that's not taught in our schools anymore. I barely learned what the three branches of government were, and now our children are being taught to hate their fellow classmates because of their gender, the color of their skin. Again, nonsense. Rick Green, all, uh, apart from being a failed politician, and uh, a liar about being America's constitution coach is an anti-vaxxer, a, a white Christian nationalist, nutter, right-wing psycho. And let me also further, let me address this, that just because Lauren, actually bring it in, Lauren Bober, I'll talk directly to you. Just because you barely learned about the three branches of government in high school doesn't mean it wasn't taught. It means, very likely, you were busy doing whatever you were doing that led you to not graduate high school. 
I don't believe that's a failure on the part of educators. That's a you issue. I mean, just because Lauren Boebert didn't learn something doesn't mean it wasn't taught. I was an undisciplined student. I didn't learn math very well, algebra, all the rest of it. <laughs> Not great. That was on me. <laughs> there were other things I was interested in. At the time, the Bible. So this is, to continue with the theme of months and months and months, a radical take on the Constitution, a radical take that is going to lead down a path of white Christian nationalists trying to seize power once again like they did during the insurrection. This is a white Christian power movement that is not going to stop. And we need to be aware of it. We need to be um, have a fulsome understanding of what the stakes are here. Because if we ignore it, and if this isn't important to you, and if you've, for those of you who've already clicked off and don't care, we're all in danger because of your lack of concern. Because radicals will take your lack of, of concern about it and, and turn it to their advantage. Anyway, uh, I love you guys. I appreciate you. Thanks for putting up with the, the sweaty forehead and the, <clears throat> uh, the rough time I'm having. I love you guys. I appreciate you. Uh, if you appreciate me and you'd like to support my work, help produce my work, click the join button below. Become a channel member for two bucks a month, two dollars a month, or you can go over to patreon.com slash I doubt it podcast. Both those are fantastic ways to help support. If I was able to marshal the size of my audience, I know two bucks doesn't sound like a lot, but if 5% of my audience were to give 2% <clears throat> or give $2 a month, we could fundamentally change this and this grow this operation into something very uh, fast moving. We could hire staff, you know, all the stuff. Anyway, follow me on social media. I'd love to see you there. I'm at Dollamore and uh, <clears throat> uh, I think I'm done. <laughs> I love you guys. I appreciate you very much. I'll see you next time. Until I do, be genuine. <clears throat> Take care of one another.